So when you're integrating an infrared sensor into a system, you've got to think about things like how you're going to get, physically how you're going to get the data out of the sensor and into your system. Hi, I'm Stan and this is another Tech Talk. This time I'll be talking about our Viento 10 and Viento HD 10 line of sensors. We've recently added the SDI interface, the serial digital interface to the Viento 10, Viento HD 10 line of sensors. The Viento sensors are a small set of microbolometer sensors. I call them like marshmallow sized sensors. And they're often designed into small compact spaces Sometimes those spaces are moving around and need to be cabled in. And as a result, little differences in how we interface to these cameras can make a big difference in our customers' ability to integrate them into the, into the applications they're working with. One of the main concerns is how do we get the video out of these small cameras in these small, maybe moving spaces. We've recently added the SDI interface, the serial digital interface to the Viento 10, Viento HD 10 line of sensors in order to get the video out in a different interface. The SDI uses a single coax. It still transmits a, an uncompressed video stream. So you get the high quality of an uncompressed video stream, but a single coax cable can be relatively thin, relatively light. I had a customer come to me and ask about getting the Viento sensor integrated into a small moving gimbal type application. And they were having a difficulty because getting a full ethernet cable with all of its multiple wires into that moving environment was difficult. The cable tends to be stiff and uh, hard to move around. The other advantage of the SDI is that in other applications, let's say a ground mounted application where you might be some distance from the receiving element, whether it's a computer or a monitor or a display, uh, SDI can work over very long distances, which gives it an edge over uh, USB. USB is only good over a few meters and SDI can work over hundreds of feet. The other consideration when comparing your use of SDI with gigabit ethernet or USB is that Gig E and USB both assume that the receiving device is going to be some kind of a processor or a computer. Uh, SDI can also be run to a processor or a computer, but it can also go straight to a display, a viewfinder, or other kinds of elements that maybe are, cannot handle directly USB or gigabit ethernet. So the kind of receiving device you're using would be another thing you'd think about in deciding to integrate with SDI. I hope this has provided some insight into the kinds of considerations you need when integrating one of our infrared cameras into a system. Sometimes it can come down to something as simple as how thick and heavy a cable is. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions about our sensors or how to integrate them, give us a call. I'm Stan with Sierra Olympia. We'll see you at the next Tech Talk.